Welcome back to Movie Rewind. Today I will recap for you a drama, thriller film from 2018 titled The Lie. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Kayla is a 15-year-old high school student still struggling to accept her parents' recent divorce. Her mother, Rebecca, drops her new boyfriend off at the airport, and after bidding him farewell and returning to the car, Kayla asks if her father is aware that the man will soon be moving into the house. Shortly after, Kayla is dropped off with her father, Jay, who is driving Kayla to her ballet retreat. He asks if Kayla has packed her inhaler, and she replies in the affirmative, though she is also quick to voice that she is not happy about going. Before departing, Jay and Rebecca share a nice moment in conversation while reminiscing about their favorite breakfast foods, but Jay's new girlfriend interrupts them, at which point Rebecca decides to excuse herself. On the way to the retreat, Kayla and Jay spot a teenage girl sitting at the bus stop along the snow-covered road, who upon closer inspection is revealed to be Kayla's best friend, Brittany. Brittany, who is attending the same dance camp as Kayla, says that an early morning fight with her father left her stranded without a ride, therefore she hops into the car and joins Kayla in the backseat. Not long after, Brittany asks to use the restroom, but they are a considerable distance away from the near exit. Brittany says that her need has become urgent and pleads with Jay to pull off the road, so he stops to allow Brittany to utilize the nearby woods. The two girls walk down the hill and into the nearby trees, but after several minutes lapse and Jay has yet to see either one return, he follows their path down the bank to look for them. Moments later, Jay is alerted by the sound of his daughter screaming. He rushes to the scene, where he finds a distressed Kayla sitting atop the guard rail, staring aimlessly at the flowing river below. There, Jay asks Kayla what happened, to which she responds by lowering her eyes to look down, insinuating that Brittany has fallen over the edge. Jay rushes down to the river to wade through the ice-cold water in search of her, but the current is strong, and Brittany is nowhere to be found. Soon after, Kayla locates Brittany's purse which had washed ashore, at which point Jay concludes that Brittany has already drowned. Still shocked by the thought of Brittany's possible demise, Jay is prepared to call the police and inform them of the incident when Kayla reveals new information that changes his mind. Kayla says that she and Brittany had been horsing around on the bridge. Somehow during their roughhousing Kayla ended up pushing her friend, which inadvertently resulted in Brittany tumbling over the edge. Now at a loss about what to do next, Jay directs Kayla to duck down and avoid being spotted by the bypassing truck. Jay then drives Kayla back to the city and he heads to find Rebecca in her office, where she now works as a corporate attorney. There, he gives Rebecca just enough information to have her leave work for the day, until they can all reconvene at Rebecca's house. There, Kayla enlightens her mother to the previously omitted details. The shocking confession spawns a series of emotions, ultimately resulting in an argument between Jay and Rebecca. Kayla, overhearing the disagreement, is triggered by her parents yelling, and she responds by breaking into a manic tirade. After running out of the house while screaming at the top of her lungs, Kayla suddenly blurts out that the fall was not an accident. In a prolonged outburst, she confesses to intentionally pushing Brittany, defiantly claiming that she did it in an effort to spite her parents. Jay, scorned by his daughter's words, then departs the house, leaving Rebecca to process the new revelation alone. Sometime after, Brittany's father, Sam, arrives at the house in search of his daughter. Rebecca, who can barely control her nerves and fights to prevent her hands from shaking, claims that she has no idea where Brittany is. Sam then asks if he can speak to Kayla, forcing Rebecca to lie again by saying that Kayla is with her father at a doctor's appointment. Temporarily appeased, Sam leaves the house with a request for Kayla to give him a call upon her return. Later, Jay returns to the house, and although Kayla has since calmed down, he is chastised by Rebecca for abandoning her to deal with Brittany's father by herself. Realizing they will now be the target of endless scrutiny, Jay convinces Rebecca they should leave the house and she begins loading items into the car where they are met with the return of Brittany's father. Sam becomes increasingly suspicious upon seeing that Jay has returned from the previously reported doctor's appointment, and Kayla is revealed to be at home shortly after. Sam makes his way towards Kayla and demands that she speak with him immediately, prompting Jay to intervene and demand he vacate the property. Sam ignores the request, which leads to a physical altercation that ends with Sam striking Jay in the face, and he threatens to report them to the police. Now caught in a definitive lie and fearing that the police will soon be involved, Jay suggests they redirect the suspicion. He notes that Brittany had a bruise on her face and a documented history of running away, which could easily be manipulated to paint her father as a suspect. Rebecca is uncomfortable with the plan, but she quickly concludes it's their most viable option to avoid Kayla being implicated, and she reluctantly agrees to go to the police station. 
There, she meets with a former colleague, Detective Kenji Tagata, and reports her suspicion that Sam was abusing his daughter. Kayla, when interviewed, corroborates her mother's story, while Jay listens intently to the conversation from the second floor balcony. In her statement, Kayla says that Brittany's father has an out of control temper and a history of striking his daughter, which is enough to convince Kenji to investigate further. Next, Kenji and her partner set off to interview Sam at his home, where they experience firsthand his hostility. Meanwhile, Jay takes Kayla with him and returns to his apartment so he can retrieve some personal items and a fresh set of clothes. There, not only does he realize that he forgot about a scheduled rehearsal with his band, but he is also confronted by his girlfriend. She found Brittany's purse in the back seat of his car and demands he reveal to whom the items belong. Kayla, in another fit of frustration, storms out of Jay's apartment and sets off on her own, only to run into Sam, fresh off being interrogated by the two detectives. Enraged, he tries to grab Kayla intending to force her to answer his questions, but she breaks free of his grasp and runs all the way home, barely staying out of his sight as he bangs on the door. Later, having heard Sam's side of the story, Kenji, and her partner return to Rebecca's house where they address the suspicions he had raised, in turn. Further investigation tracked Brittany's cell phone to a tower in the immediate vicinity of Jay's address. And when he stays steadfast to his story that he never saw Brittany the day of her disappearance, Kenji reveals that Kayla's inhaler was found at the bridge. Still unwilling to accept that their daughter has been implicated and they're all likely destined to be arrested, Jay and Rebecca head off in the middle of the night and stealthily approach Brittany and Sam's address. Still hoping to redirect suspicion onto Sam, Rebecca stands watch from the car as Jay sneaks into the backyard, where he plans to bury Brittany's purse as planted evidence. As he is digging, Rebecca loses sight of Sam from the window and must get out of the car to warn Jay, when the connection on her cell phone is lost. Instead, Rebecca is caught red-handed by Sam, and he confronts her in the middle of the road. He becomes increasingly aggressive when demanding to know the whereabouts of his daughter, and Jay is alerted to the situation by the shrill sound of his ex-wife's scream. He immediately rushes to her rescue and tackles Sam to the ground. Another altercation ensues and Jay restrains Sam long enough for Rebecca to escape, before joining her to also flee the scene. Sam boldly accuses them both of murdering Brittany, as they return to the car and take off speeding down the road. Nearby, Sam intercepts the vehicle and steps directly into its path. Rebecca clearly sees him, but she allows her instinct to take over, accelerating to intentionally collide with Sam at full speed. Jay, in disbelief as to what just happened, gets out of the car and rushes to Sam's bleeding body. Rebecca has a moment of clarity and picks up her phone to contact emergency services, however, Jay stops her at the last possible moment. Choosing self-preservation over morality, they silently watch Sam as he bleeds out, coldly ignoring his pleas for someone to help. The following morning, Kayla wakes up to prepare breakfast, unaware of what had happened the night before, while Jay and Rebecca stare blankly into space. Only then, has the true gravity of the situation begun to hit each of them, and they find themselves unable to mutter a single word. With Sam's blood still freshly smeared across the front grill of the car, they walk out to the garage with wet rags to begin cleaning it. They are then shocked again when they find themselves standing face to face with a still alive and unharmed Brittany. As it turns out, Brittany, who has been unscathed the entire time, concocted the elaborate runaway plan to skip ballet camp and spend time with her boyfriend, but there had never been any talk of faking her death. Speechless, Jay and Rebecca can only stare at Brittany in shock, until she takes notice of the blood-strained rags in their hands, at which point Rebecca tells Brittany that she needs to go home. Next, Jay and Rebecca confront Kayla, who tearfully admits that she was not only complicit in Brittany's ruse, but also then escalated the lie by pretending that she had pushed Brittany, hoping that the pseudo-tragedy would bring her divorced parents back together. As the movie ends, Kayla completely breaks down, apologizing and begging her parents not to leave her. In the distance, the sound of incoming police sirens can be heard, and the doorbell then begins ringing. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel to see more.